Welcome back to another quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm gonna be going over pencil poppers. All right, so in this quick tip, I'm gonna be going over how I work my pencil poppers. Uh, I did a podcast on this recently and I had a lot of questions about how I work pencils. Uh, and it's pretty simple and it's also one of the best plug, top water plugs out there. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so a great part about pencil poppers is they're a fantastic casting plug. You can cast them an absolute mile. Uh, and the way you work them is you jiggle the top of your rod in a rhythmic way to make the pencil work back and forth across the surface of the water. So I'm gonna demonstrate that right now. So when you work a pencil, you wanna be able to get your rod, your one hand needs to go about a little bit above the grip of the rod. And then what you do is you move that up and down. And depending on how big the pencil popper is that you're using, is how fast you're going to be popping the rod. If it's a bigger pencil popper, you pop it slower. If it's a smaller pencil popper, you pop it faster. You can, but the objective is to get the popper working back and forth across the surface of the water and in a very erratic way. And then the retrieve speed is very important. When I teach people how to pencil pop, what I try to tell them is when you're reeling the retrieve speed that you use, you want it to be slow enough that you just feel tension on the plug. You don't want it to be too fast to take all of the action out of the plug, but you just want it to be fast enough that you just feel the plug. So what I mean by that is when you cast out your plug, what you want to do is you want to reel just fast enough that you're feeling the weight of the plug. And then you add the movement of the rod. And you add the movement of the rod to lay the line to help the pencil popper move. And so what I'm doing is I'm reeling slow enough that I feel tension on the plug. There's a sweet spot that when you're working the plug to make it work better. So when I am pencil popping, I hold the rod in this way. The way I like to hold the rod is I have my, on my thighs, I just squeeze the rod in between my legs. I'm not squeezing it very hard. I'm just holding the rod in place. I have my hand a little bit above the top of the rod. A lot of people will hold the line, but I found that it really doesn't make a difference with line twist or wind knots. So I just hold my hand just a little bit above the rod and that's where I give it the action. 